Hello everyone, welcome back to Crack Soid. Today in this video, I'll be talking in depth about DNS and private DNS, their differences and why private DNS is important in our daily lives. And also I'll be answering the most important questions such as what is the difference between private DNS and DNS? Are private DNS servers safe? How are private DNS servers more secure than the public DNS servers? Which private DNS server should you use? And how do you set up private DNS? So this video is going to be a bit more technical, but I'll try my best to explain it in a clear and simple way so that everyone will understand. So let's get started. So the first question is what is the difference between DNS and private DNS? DNS stands for domain name system. It is a system that translates domain name into IP addresses. A domain name is a human readable address for a website such as google.com. And an IP address is a machine readable address for a website. So DNS is like an internet translator. It changes website names into computer language. So your device can find and visit websites easily. So in very simple term, DNS is a translator that translates domain name into IP addresses. So in this way, you visit or surf websites. Similarly, private DNS is a feature that allows users to use a specific, often encrypted DNS server for their internet connections, offering increased privacy and security. In simple term, private DNS is a way to make your DNS queries more secure by encrypting them. You can also say private DNS is a way to encrypt your DNS queries. This means that no one can see what websites you are visiting, even if they are on the same network as you. Private DNS is useful for protecting your privacy and security. For example, if you're using a public Wi-Fi network, someone on the same network could potentially see what websites you are visiting if your DNS queries are not encrypted. So let me give you a simple example so that you will understand more easily. Think of DNS like a phone book that translates name to phone numbers. It matches websites names like google.com to their phone number, which is IP address. So your device can find and connect to them. Private DNS is like having your own special phone book at home just for your family's use. It helps devices in your house find and connect to each other without using the public phone book that everyone else uses. For instance, in a company, a private DNS helps the company's computer talk to each other securely within the company's network, just like a private phone book used within your family. I hope you understand this and if not, don't worry, I'll give you more simpler example. Imagine you are at a restaurant and you want to order food. You tell the waiter what you want and then the waiter goes to the kitchen and tells the cook what to make. DNS is like the waiter. It takes your request for a website and tells the computer where to find it. Private DNS is like using a secret code to order your food. The waiter knows the code but no one else does. This means that no one else can see what you ordered. I hope you understand a little bit from this simpler example, but if you are still confused, then don't worry, I have another one more simpler and easy to understand for everyone. Let us suppose you are in a city and you want to go to a specific coffee shop. You don't know the address of the coffee shop, so you ask a police officer for help. The police officer tells you the address of the coffee shop. In this example, the police officer is like a DNS server. When you type a website address into your web browser, you are asking a DNS server to tell you the IP address of the website. And on the other hand, private DNS is like having a secret map of the city that only you can use. No one else can see your secret map, so they cannot find out the address of the coffee shop you are going to. 
So I hope you now have a better understanding of TNS and private TNS. Also, I have collected questions that might be confusing or concerning to you. I'll give you clear answers and explanations so you won't have any doubts. Let's start with some easy questions. Are private DNS servers safe? And the answer is yes. The private DNS are generally safe to use. It can help to protect your privacy and security online by encrypting your DNS queries. This means that no one including your ISP can see what websites you are visiting. However, it is important to choose a private DNS resolver that you trust. Some private DNS resolvers may log your DNS queries or sell your data to third parties. So the third question is how the private DNS is more secure than the regular ones. Private DNS is more secure than regular DNS because it encrypts your DNS queries. This means that no one can see what websites you are visiting, not even your ISV. Regular DNS sends your DNS queries in plain text. This means that anyone who can intercept your DNS traffic can see what websites you are visiting. This includes your ISP, your government or even hackers. Private DNS encrypts your DNS queries using a secure protocol such as TLS or DOH. This means that even if someone can intercept your DNS traffic, they will not be able to see what websites you are visiting. And talking about the benefits of using private DNS, private DNS is more secure way to resolve domain names than regular DNS. It encrypts your DNS queries so that no one, including your ISP, can see what websites you are visiting. This protects your privacy and security and can sometimes even improve your internet performance. Is private DNS visible? Private DNS is not visible to your ISP or other third parties. This is because your DNS queries are encrypted. However, private DNS is visible to the DNS resolver that you are using. For example, if you are using Cloudflare DNS, Cloudflare will be able to see your DNS queries. However, Cloudflare has a strict privacy policy and does not sell or share DNS query data with third parties. If you are concerned about your privacy, you should choose a DNS resolver that has a good privacy policy. You should always avoid using DNS resolvers that are known to track or sell DNS query data. Here are four DNS resolvers with good privacy policies that you can use to protect your privacy online. Cloudflare DNS, Google Public DNS, Next DNS, and Quad9. So I believe you now get how DNS is different from private DNS. I have explained it with easy, simple examples, questions and answers to make it clear. Now let's understand how private DNS is so important in our daily life. Let me give you one more easy example to make sure you understand the difference and importance of DNS and private DNS completely. Let us suppose you are a customer of ISP Cracksoid. ISP is basically an internet service provider which gives internet to people like us. ISP Cracksoid uses its own DNS service to resolve domain names. This means that when you visit a website, your DNS queries are sent to ISP Cracksoid's DNS servers. And yes, by default, ISP Cracksoid knows which website its customers are surfing if they are using ISP Cracksoid's DNS servers. This is because when you send a DNS query to a DNS server, you are essentially telling the DNS server which website you want to visit. The DNS server then responds with the IP address of the website. If ISP cracks it once, then they can log the DNS queries of their customers and use their information to track their browsing activities. But if you want to protect your privacy and prevent your ISP from tracking your browsing activities, then you can use private DNS to encrypt your DNS queries. You can do this by configuring your device to use a different DNS resolver, such as Cloudflare DNS, Google Public DNS or others. 
And once you have figured your device to use a private DNS resolver, your DNS queries will be encrypted and ISP CrackSuite will not be able to see what websites you are visiting. How to set up private DNS on mobile phone. Private DNS can be enabled on most devices including smartphones, tablets and computers. To use private DNS on your phone, you will need to configure your phone to use a different DNS resolver than the one that your ISP provides. Here are the steps on how to do this on mobile phone. Open the settings app, tap network and internet, scroll down to last then you will find private DNS option and in some cases you may need to go to advanced setting as well. Now tap private DNS. By default, private DNS is off on almost all devices and we are going to change it. So then select on private DNS provider host name. Now here you can enter the host name of the DNS resolver that you want to use. For example, to use adguard DNS, you would enter dns.adguard.com and then tap save. So that's it, you have successfully used private DNS on your phone. The benefit of using this AdGuard DNS is that it will block ads from the websites which is what you wanted. Also a demo, I'll go to a random web page with some ads while the private DNS on this phone is turned off. You can see the ad showing on this web page as displayed on the mobile screen. Now I'll demonstrate using AdGuard DNS which I have already set up after enabling AdGuard private DNS on this device I'll return to the same web page. I'll refresh the web page and you will notice the ads no longer appear. This is how private DNS works. Different DNS services have their own unique uses and you can search and use any you prefer. Which private DNS would you use? It's very easy to use private DNS on your device. But what's important is which private DNS should we use? And here's the list of all the DNS resolvers I know of. And some of the most trusted DNS are Cloudflare DNS, Google Public DNS, Next DNS and Quad9, which are most secured and most trusted as well. So I hope I was able to explain all about the private DNS and DNS in a simple and clear way. If there's anything more you want to know about DNS and private DNS then feel free to comment down below. You can share your thoughts and suggestions too. If you find this video informative then hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksoid YouTube channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.